Joining me now is Irish country music legend Dominic Carwin. Dominic, you're very welcome to the show. How are you spending your time during this lockdown? Well, first of all, it's good to talk to you, Q. It's uh, very, very, very strange times. Um, and uh, how am I spending my time? It's been a strange one, really, for me, because uh, I'm not a musician that sits with a guitar or whatever and backs myself, you know, because I've always been so used to having some wonderful musicians around me. So it's kind of slightly difficult uh, that I'm not able to jump on and do all these sort of shows that the lads are doing, which is great, by the way. So I've been doing something different. I've been doing a bit of decorating. I've been doing a, uh, a lot of walking, uh, keeping myself active. And then uh, my partner's father owns a bit of a land, a uh, small holding, and I'm up there helping out with the goats and the lambs and the uh, and the general looking after the donkeys and clean up and working at farm sheds and things like that. You know, so just keep myself busy. And Dominic, what are the plans once things get back to some kind of normality? Well, I suppose the on the, the difficulty with it all at this moment in time is that I suppose none of us really know when we will get back to normality. So planning ahead is a rather difficult one. I know I had my own uh, tours and weekends planned and whatever and well, a lot, a lot of this has come to, to obviously not going to happen at this moment in time. So until we have, until we're a little bit more clear about when we can move and how we can move, then I suppose we can start making decisions. I'd like to think that uh, we'll definitely be back uh, performing and working and entertaining before the the year's out. But uh, hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later. And uh, just get back out on the road. Uh, I had planned to be out with my show, uh, the time of my life, which is my latest album. Uh, and, and touring it at the moment of time, but unfortunately that's not the case. So hopefully sooner rather than later to, to, to get out there. You also do some guest spots with your son, Barry Kerwin. Uh, how's Barry getting on? Well, Barry's been keeping himself very busy. In fact, uh, my boys have all been keeping busy. Uh, Barry does a Monday night there where he goes on for near enough an hour every Monday night on Facebook. And Colm and his new wife, Katrina, they, they go out on Thursday nights. And my son, Jonathan, who's part of a more sort of an indie pop rock type band, uh, he does a bit of uh, entertaining there on a Friday night as well. So they're all, they're all keeping very, very busy. And I know Barry's show is very popular. I can see it with all the reaction he gets on Facebook. Absolutely great performer. There's no doubt about that. Tell me, Dominic, what's your message to your fans? Well, my message is very simple. I suppose uh, there are many, the powers that be are doing their best to get some sort of an answer to what this unforeseen virus is about, where it came from nowhere for as far as we're all concerned. And nobody really knows what it's all about. There's a lot of very good, genuine people out there uh, putting their lives at the, fr at the front of everything that, between the, the HSE, the, 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 the National Health, all the frontline workers, um, be it on their trucks and deliveries and shopping centres and whatever. And, and really, we're being asked to stay at home and stay safe. And I think that is the most important thing. And the sooner we can sort of eradicate this particular virus at this moment of time, the sooner we might get back to the normal, normality. So I say, please stay home, stay safe, look after your loved ones and think of others at this moment of time who are genuinely out on the front line. And of course, Dominic, all the people around the country who have lost family members and loved ones, you know, they are not to be forgotten also. Well, you're 100% right there. I've already uh, had conversations with some families through my own fan base who sadly have lost mums and dads and some friends. And uh, I've been on the phone to a few at this moment in time. And this is, this is the sad thing about this. I was even speaking to a lady uh, recently who's in a nursing home, who runs a nursing home. And she was telling me that uh, she's something like 20, 20 of their patients are, are sort of uh, confirmed with having it and they've already lost four. So yes, a lot of people are uh, bereaved at this moment in time. Families are losing loved ones and they can't, they can't get to them either. So we must think of these people and uh, remember, them, remember them, of course, in our prayers. Dominic Carwin, thank you for joining us and stay safe. It's an absolute pleasure, uh, Q. And look, thank you for keeping us all live, so to speak, out there in, in, in the world of the media and for this opportunity. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic.